Hey, how you doing? For this next review here, I'm going to be reviewing a book that is part of a tabletop role-playing game system called Numenera by Monty Cook. It is a book, The Poison Eater, by Shauna Germain, who works alongside Mon um, Monty Cook for a lot of projects as well as her own. And um, this is the first published novel, as far as I know. They've written short stories um, and anthologies, which were I think were only on a PDF or ebook form. This is the first physical copy that they did. They did it as part of one of their Kickstarter um, campaigns. Um, in it, you know, because um, with Numenera, Numenera being a huge success, they did another one that expanded the universe by um, a series of three game books: one exploring the ocean, outer space, and our dimensions. And one of their Kickstarter goals was uh, to make an official published novel, which is this. So here we are, and um, I would admit it's, it, I, I found a pretty good book. Nothing huge. You expect, um, I guess what it is, I expected some of like, when I first got into books like these, connected role playing game books, um, you usually are attached to some sort of venture of some kind. And this is to some degree, just not in a typical sense. It's not a, it's not a group of people coming together to explore, um, a new, uh, uh, unexplored dungeon and, you know, <clears throat> get into an adventure like that or an overall epic quest. This is a personal story from the main character, whose name is Talia. Yeah, Talia is a poison eater in a city. Um, uh, 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 it's hard for me to pronounce that. Eth ethanate? Or, um, or anthate. And what it is, this whole city, which is a very nice city, um, has a very um, centered structure around Ornus, who is this huge um, uh, spiritual leader of, of their kind. And the people who are uh, brought up to believe that you know through her she keeps everybody safe. If something happens, she has this ultimate weapon that will uh, that can destroy everything except for her. People trust in her and believe in her. And one of her servants is you know uh, one of the official servants there is the um, the poison eater. The poison eater, um, who is Talia, our main pro protagonist. Her job is to um, ever rising in the moon. She will go up to the ceremony, and she will take in this poison. That could kill her, but the purpose of this is that she would gain visions, and these visions are, you know, reported if she survives, and they, you know, of the of a coming danger. Now, the idea of Numenera, um, the world of Numenera, takes place one billion years in the future, where um, people live in the remnants of older civilizations. Not all of them human. So a lot of people, while they utilize whatever they can find, they don't know everything about it. There's a lot of weirdness about it. And so what Talia is, is supposedly doing is she's taking these poisons, she's getting these visions from the data sphere. Basically, it's like some form of internet that's constantly all around them. But, you, you know, much, I, I say internet as a shorthand term. But here's the thing about Talia. Despite her prominence in the city and she has friends and all this, she is a person living a lie. She is a person on the run. She was part of this group of people who were taken over by this strange group of creatures called the Vorchka. And she has escaped. She has abandoned her friend um, behind, who's like a sister her, to her, that she was also captur you know, captured by them. But she ran off, she lost her hand in the process, and she kept running until she came across the city of Enthate, where she was, you know, taken care of. She has a device in her hands that give her a, um, um, a, 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 a new hand, so to speak, but out of energy. She, and then she's taken on this role. She meets up with these new friends. And she's taken on this role as a poisoner. She has never told him about her past, which she hopes she could hide there and not have to do with it. But the thing is, Dvorchka are, are doing whatever they can to hunt her down. So now she has a choice to confess to the people who some of the, many of them she have come to care about, to uh, about the truth, and also she needs since she is a, a poisoner and also she wants to get in contact with the Ornus, who supposedly has a weapon that could stop the Vorchka. So she's a person on a run, person living a lie, and then she finds out what else in her city could be true or what is a lie. I mean, how much is what she's living by actually true? Does she actually gain visions from the data sphere? You know, or she's just making them up? So that's uh, that's kind of the gist of it with the Poison Eater. As I say, for books related to tabletop role-playing games, it's 
you know, it's you know, especially with the first printed novel. I it's um I'm not saying it's not bad. I would almost, as compared to how they usually portray such books, it's almost kind of lackluster. You know, if you have those expectations. But for something that takes place in Numenera, if you want something different. You know, besides the typical, let's all gather together for adventures or go on a, a massive epic quest. This is a personal story about a woman on the run, you know, trying to do what she can. You know, if, does she keep running or does she stand and fight? So, there you go. Uh, the Poison Eater by Shauna Germain. Um, you know, go ahead. And also, if you go to um, Monty Cook Games, the hardcover you can buy directly from that website has illustrations to it. This one I picked up at Barnes & Noble, no illustrations at all, so um, whatever your choice may be. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a nice day.